Hi, I'm Neil Swift and I work within the photometry and radiometry team at the Measurement Standards Laboratory. And today I'm going to talk to you about reflectance. Reflectance is a proportion of incident light on a surface that is reflected back in some other direction. It is given a value between 0 and 1, or alternatively 0% and 100%. For example, for a very flat polished surface, the reflectance will be high at a detection angle equal to the angle of instance, and especially if the surface is metallic like a mirror. If the surface is rough, then the instant light will be scattered from the surface and we describe the reflectance as diffuse. A perfect diffuser is described as Lambertian, uniform in all direction. No material is perfect in this regard, though pressed or sintered halon powder comes very close and is used as our reference reflectance standard. For most materials, the reflectance we see is made up of a component of light scattered by the top surface and another component that has penetrated the surface and been scattered back to the detector by the bulk of the material. So we may have a high reflectance in the specular direction combined with reflected light in all other directions. It is possible to measure the shape of the reflectance pattern, known as the reflectance distribution pattern, in its entirety. Industries with an interest in the measurement of reflectance include the paper and printing industry, painting, cosmetics, film and television, or even the produce industry, where fruit is graded according to the quality of the surface. Interior designers will be able to use the properties of many different surfaces to achieve an overall look. The instrument you need to measure this is called a gonio spectrophotometer, and this is what we have at MSL. We select the wavelength of the instant light, and the beam direction is fixed. And we can select the angle of instance in the sample and the angle of detection by moving the robot arm holding the sample in the position of the detector. The instrument is also able to make absolute reflectance measurements as we compare the total power instant on the sample by moving it out of the beam and compare this to the power reflected into the angle we select. For some samples, the angular dependence of the light scattering is important. For example, polychromatic surfaces such as for cars. More often, only one specific geometry delivers the information we need to make a decision, which of course depends on the type of material we are measuring and the purpose of the measurement. So we can design measurement systems devoted to a single geometry that are simpler and quicker to use, but need a calibrated reference material. In order to compare results between samples, it is necessary to perform measurements in the same geometry. These are often specified in documentary standards, such as those produced by Standards Australia and New Zealand, ISO or requirements from industry associations. You should always check if this is relevant prior to making a measurement. One of the most common geometries is a 0 degrees 45. For this measurement, we illuminate the sample at 0 degrees and view the sample at 45 degrees. This measurement explicitly excludes the specular peak, so it's primarily a way of measuring colour. 0 degrees 45 measurements can be sensitive to the texture of the surface, so are best used to compare the colour of samples with the same finish. In reflectance measurements, the inverse geometry gives the same result, so 0 degrees 45 or 45 degrees 0 measurements are interchangeable. If you are more interested in the total reflectance of a sample, you can use an integrating sphere to measure, for example 6 degrees diffuse reflectance, that is 6 degrees instance and diffuse viewing. We press the sample against a port on a sphere lined with highly reflecting white material and illuminate the sample at 6 degrees from normal. All of the light that is reflected off the sample, whether diffuse or in the specular direction is captured by the sphere and collected by a detector mounted on the outside of the sphere looking in. This measurement is also primarily about colour and is largely insensitive to the texture of the surface. Integrating spheres can be also be modified to exclude the reflectance in the specular direction. So we can make measurements of total reflectance of the specular excluded or included and often a comparison of these two measurements can give an idea of the relative glossiness of two surfaces. Measurements like these can also be carried out on a large custom built instrument like this one at MSL, on commercial spectrophotometers with integrating sphere accessories or with a small handheld instrument like this one. The Measurement Standards Laboratory can provide guidance on all of these aspects of reflectance measurement, can carry out measurement for you, and can also provide calibrated reference materials to ensure the accuracy of your instrument, stability of measurements over time, and traceability.